Hello everybody, this is episode 10 of my Hollow Knight Let's Talk Lore series. It is still March the 1st at literally 11.59pm. Uh, it took ages, and I do mean ages, to record and edit my last video. Um, but, back to record the next one. Uh, Alright, so where we had left off, I believe... We had just bought some new nails, uh, I'm sorry, some new charms, as well as some new, um, what am I trying to say? I bought a, um, charm slot, there we go, that's what I was trying to say, <gasps> Jesus, I couldn't think of it. And now, I am just gonna go ahead and get another marker, because I realize I'm running out of stuff on the map. Couldn't do that now. And I think I also forgot to read the lore on uh, the long nail that I picked up. Increases the range of the bear's nail, allowing them to strike from foes from further away. There we go. Nothing too interesting there. Alright. So, let's go ahead and get back to where we were before. At the Queen's Station. And it didn't really occur to me uh, until I was re-watching this, but what this means is this is the Queen's Stag Station. Right, whenever we were talking to Quirrell, he said that this had to have been like one of the largest stag stations he'd ever seen, or something along those lines. Um, so this this entire area must have been where multiple stag stations could have all converged. Like, see, this was one, and this is one. And if we keep looking around, I'm sure, you know, maybe this one might have also used to be one. I'm not so sure. But, yeah. Uh, I guess this is where a lot of people would come and converge. I don't believe we went in this room uh, first time, though. So, let's go ahead and see what's in here. And we see a giraffe bug? Maybe? I, I really don't know what this is supposed to be. Um, oh, come in search of treats of you. I chanced upon a unique little fungus growing right above us. I found it only in this station, and the taste is just divine. This place must have once been quite the hub, built at the border between two lands, that misty drop to one side, and those bulbous growths another. Neither place seems particularly welcoming to so- oh, so while my little treats last, I think I'll stay right here. Yeah, yeah. Feel free to stop by any time, though I do like the quiet in the station, a little company is always good for one's health. Yeah, yeah. And that's it. So this is Willow, and like I said, I think that she's supposed to be like a giraffe or something. Hold on, I have to clear my throat. Excuse me. She's really going ham on eating that. Uh, okay, so let's finally get back to making some progress. We had explored Fog Canyon, and there was jack shit there that we could do right now. So the only way forward is, well, forward. And we have a brand new area. Again, the Fungal Wastes. So before we were in Fog Canyon, uh, and now we've made our way to a new location. And looks like we've got some more. Fully grown Fungal Balloon spits up internal gas at aggressors. And I assume that these are baby fungal things? Let's see. Fungling. Passive Fungal Balloon. Internal gases causes it to float. Perfect. Uh, let's go down. Looks like this might be where Cornifer is hiding. Hey, pal. Ah, my short friend. You've caught me at the perfect time. I'm just about finished charting these noxious caverns. Very territorial types makes their home within this area. I suggest avoiding them where possible. Further below, some strange thin creatures gave me quite a scare. They seemed an intelligent bunch. In my youth, I'd have braved their caves, but I fear my mature physique wouldn't be able to outrun them were they to turn violent. Hmm. There's a potent odor about these caverns, and far worse for me, I suspect. My trunk is quite sensitive, whereas you don't seem to possess a scent organ of any kind. That's interesting. Is it that you cannot smell at all? Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, I mean, if you were to look at the knight, right? He doesn't have a mouth or a nose or ears. He doesn't even really have eyes. He just, just kind of has little holes. Got another 
creature. Simple-minded crawling fungus. Its cap is covered in a layer of hardened spikes. Uh, yeah, let's actually keep going down. Let's see if there's anything we can find. Oh, wow. Hi, pal. Ow. Let's hope I can get him down. There you go. Uh, okay. Nothing that we can do right here. So, let's go ahead and place down a reminder. Come back. And a door that can't be opened from the side. I'm sure we will find our way back here soon. But for now, let's just continue on ahead. Oh, come on now. I'm going to have to edit out quite a bit of this because I have to keep clearing my throat. I have uh, a bit of phlegm stuck in I guess. You will come down here, buddy? Can I get you come down here? So maybe I'm going to hop on your head? Maybe. That doesn't seem like I'll be able to. Okay, I'll just take you up. Also, um, as I was saying in the intro, it took me forever to go ahead and get the last episode of it edited, and it's solely been because I'm trying to, um, rewatch all my videos in their entirety uh, in the editing process because ow ow that hurt there have been quite a few <sighs> simple mistakes that shouldn't be um, included in the videos and so I'm trying to catch them uh, in the editing process now and that means I'm having to rewatch all these things you know all the way through and then once that's done I've got to uh, obviously edit in all the little effects and everything that I'm trying to do and it's um it's just a long process anyhow sporg detects nearby movement and fires out explosive spores that drift towards their target we also got something through a fungified husk the remains of a bug consumed by a fungus frequently releases clouds of thick deadly gas reminds me a lot of the um oh what were they called um Ah, uh, I'm gonna be really upset if I can't remember this now. It was one of the zombies in um, Last of Us 2. You'd seen them in the uh, sewer section. Oh, come on. Can I please just kill this bug? As um, Elder Bug had said, these guys, they're not quite bug and not quite plant, they're fungus. Oh, sick. Yeah, fungi in themselves are actually very interesting things because they they are alive, right? Very, obviously, I mean, plants are alive too, but like fungi, they, they have like these um long winding connections between them. And so uh, it makes it seem as if fungus are almost like animals, but they're also like plants, you know what I mean? It's weird. Uh, we got another Hallowness seal. That was just a uh, item that we can sell at some point. Oh man. Anything to see here? And the grab. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, I hate to have to keep editing out stuff, but oh man, I really can't get this thing out of my throat. Uh, I don't think I can make that jump. I have a feeling there might be something up here. We'll see. I do not like you, fungus. Nice. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and see what's over here first. Alright, actually, I want to go ahead and mark this down on my map, and this will be the first gold marker. Uh, I believe this is a lore tablet, but we don't have access to it yet. So we will definitely have to come back here to get some more on what the fungal wastes are up to. Right, because with Green Path and with um, uh, the King's Passage, right, we were able to, you know, just find lore tablets sitting all around. Also, another door that we can't get through yet. Um, but we were able to just openly read the lore tablets because they were meant for 
any person who is coming through would be able to read them. However, things don't seem to be the same here in the Fungal Wastes. They might be a bit more private and wanting to keep their secrets to themselves. So as of right now, we have no way to currently um, learn any lore about them. And, okay, so we've seen that there are multiple of these one-way gates, right, that have some sort of mechanism as well. Oh, I'm very sorry. Okay, so these mechanisms right here, they, they have a mask on them, right? Meaning that they were put here by someone, you know, it, it, but they, they look much more tribal um, and native. I guess that's what I'd say, than what we've seen of the rest of Halonest, right? In which all the levers are um, metal with a lot of like filigree and whatnot on them. Whereas these seem to be a lot more uh, simple, I guess, is how I'd describe it. I don't know what else to say. Wow. Hey, Bell. Wow. wow. What's up, dude? You good? Shroomal Warrior, a fungal creature that attacks intruders to protect its young. Aw. I would never hurt your young, sir. I'm sure they're nice. Oh, we have another. Ow. Your farts hurt. Oh. <gasps> hey! I, hey! They're, they're not young. They're, they're just, uh... Uh, don't read that. It just says fungal creature spends most of its time in the ground, but can uproot and flee if it senses danger. And I have to kill 18 more of them. <laughs> hey guys. Uh, just, just just look away. Just look away. Nothing happened. Nothing to see here. It's all good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry guys. I gotta get the lore. Oh no! Oh no! I didn't mean to kill your kid right in front of you! I'm so sorry! <laughs> no wonder he's trying to defend his home from us. We're murderers. Uh, Alright, cool. Checkpoint unlocked. Um, let's keep going this way. Sorry guys, I'll stop killing you once I have the lore tablet. Or the, the Hunter's Journal marker. But until then, your flesh is mine. Ha ha ha. Alright, I guess this is the only way we go. It's fine. Okay. This looks a bit ominous. Oh, oh, this is a lingering effect, huh? All right, let me heal up real quick. Oh, I see, you can't just pogo off his head, huh? All right, that's fine. I'm gonna take damage, that's okay. I just wanna blitz this one guy out very quickly. There we go. All right, now you shouldn't be too hard on your own. Yeah, you do that. Pathetic. Oh, another notch. Nice. Shroomal ogre, huge fungal creature, attacks by spitting corrosive venom and slamming its body into foes. Yeah, they're uh, they're really not too bad. Oh, really? I figured this would be a uh, secret or something. Okay. Uh, let's go up. Up says it's Swords of Forgotten Crossroads, so... Okay, I I don't even know how I managed to do that. <laughs> yeah, if we can if we can find a shortcut back to Forgotten Crossroads, that'd be perfect. What is this right here? Oh. Never mind, then. Now, 
Now this is interesting. So we definitely can't get down there, right? Because there's that acid. And yet we can see that there's clearly a room over there. Uh, hinting at perhaps the fact that maybe we will get some sort of ability that lets us swim in this acid. Very much like the, um, was it the gravity suit, I think? And Super Metroid? Oh. Hey. You? They're not trying to sneak past me. I can smell you. Hmm, do you collect a lot of geo? Give me geo and you can see something nice. Uh, sure, leg eater. Let me show you then. Take a look. Do you want them? If you really, really want them, I'll trade them for more geo. More geo. Hmm. Alright, so he sells um these three charms. Fragile heart. This is a precious thing, a beautiful charm. I made it for you. If you hold on to it, you'll feel a lot healthier. If you're afraid of dying, you need this charm. Fragile greed. Very, very special and valuable charm. Do you want to find more geo? Hold this charm and go hunting. Then bring any geo you find back to me. And fragile strength. You're weak, aren't you? You should give me geo. If you do, I'll give you this charm I made. It will make you stronger. Your enemies and everyone else will fear you at last. Uh, honestly, I want Fragile Greed, not gonna lie. This is uh, just getting more Geo. Uh, the, the earlier you have this on, the more helpful it is. So, um, honestly, let's just take off the compass. I don't really think that uh, I need it anymore. Uh, sorry, I wanted to talk to you. Are you curious? You're wondering how I make my special gifts? Ew. <laughs> How do you pronounce that? Ew! Didn't I try to steal my secrets? I'll steal them at the bank. If you're cool to me, you'll be sorry. Alright, dude. You don't like to be hurt, do you? Or maybe you don't want to mind? Hmm? Are you nice? If you're nice, I'll give me Gio. Maybe you aren't so nice. Do not try to trick me. I'm not stupid. Beautiful, aren't they? These gifts I have, they are shiny and dangerous and lovely. I made them, do not be jealous. Give me a Geo and you can have one. This dude's a real fucking weirdo, huh? Enough talking. Your jabbering is annoying. Step over here and show me your Geo. Nah, dude, I'm out. I will see you later. That dude's all about the ladies, huh? That looks like a secret, too. I guarantee you, you can get right there. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna mark this on the map. Uh, that's... Uh-oh. Uh, <laughs> maybe, maybe I do need that wayward compass, huh? I suddenly realized that I had no clue where I was. Uh, so let's just put on Thorns Bagony too. Alright, cool beans. Unfortunately, we won't have our long nail, but I think that's okay. I think we'll be able to do without. Whoa! Uh-oh. Oh, I don't have any soul. I'm trying to heal up. Uh, sorry, I wouldn't be going up, don't I? Damn it! Alright, dude. I'm just gonna rest here one more time. Please do not try to talk to me, though. Also, we're literally just sitting on a bug's corpse. That's pretty sad. What's this over here, I wonder? Just a way to drop down? Yeah. Okay. I'll have to do some testing to see uh, just how much of an increase in Geo you get with and without the charm. Because if it's only something like like a 10% increase or something, it's probably not worth it. But if it's like a 30% or even 40%, then it's definitely, definitely worth having on, I think.
Let's see, how much geo do I get normally from these guys? Nine geo? Okay. And I guess... Well, actually, I'll do testing. Um, I'll do testing whenever I'm closer to a bench or something. Oh, come on. Let's getting over it with Benefaldi. Uh, is this all there is to it? There's really nothing else here. No secret walls or anything like that? No? Alright, fine then. Keep your secrets. Let's see what's up here. You hear that, right? There's definitely something here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't hide your secrets for too long. Although I don't really need this now, do I? Is that it? <sighs> okay. Uh, so where are we at? Oh, this is a this is a new area. We haven't uh, discovered this part yet. Ah, uh, okay. I see. All right. Uh, so very similar to those mines that we'd seen where Milo was at. Um, this is another thing we currently do not have access to, so we'll have to come back here later. Another little sign pointing towards a village, and oh! Alright, never mind, no. I guess we haven't been here, otherwise I totally would've got all those to you. I wonder if um if that fragile greed charm adds to the geo that you get from um those little geo deposits. That'd be interesting. Yeah, so I guess we never went in this room, did we? That's kind of crazy. All right, let's go ahead and rest at this uh, place. Perfect. Let's see. Yep, sure enough. Okay, well, let's continue on. Uh, I'm going to cut back to um, being right here. So, I will see you now. Dang, that shit was quick, huh? I'm really fast, aren't I? <laughs> Alright, uh, we didn't explore this room, did we? No. That is the brand new spot. Hey, buddy. No, 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 no. Don't worry, don't worry. You're fine. You're fine, pal. You don't gotta, you don't gotta do any of that. He's so nervous. Alright. Did I finally get enough stuff from the shroomlings? Yes. Looks like an ordinary mushroom until you get close. Then it pops out of the ground and starts scurrying around blindly. Very, very amusing. This dude is... <sighs> I don't know, he's a fucking psychopath, honestly. Like, you listen to stuff he says, where he's like, Oh, yes, I like to have them just run into my mouth. And now he... he oh! Oh, no! Oh, <laughs> poor little shroom. He talks about how he likes to kill poor baby mushrooms. It's like, bruh, chill out. They're just little babies. Nice. Uh, okay. Can I get this open at any point? Maybe. <laughs> Nothing over here. Okay. Anything over here? Nope. Nice. Nothing over here. Seem like it. So yeah, anytime that you see those uh, big orange explosive attacks, you can expect that they will just deal way too much damage. All right, um, let's go right. Oh, it got quiet all of a sudden. We remember the elder. Okay. 
cool. Who's the elder? Hmm? Anything? Uh, we see it there. It's like this beaded necklace, maybe? It could also be... Maybe a slug. It kind of looks like something. Uh, and we also have this cloth right here at the top. If I had to guess, I would say that that is the remains of... Or maybe some of the clothes of whoever that elder might have been. We'll definitely have to come back here later. Whew, you almost got me there. Boss fight? No. Not a boss fight. A character. Aha! The tiny steps of a tiny creature. You've got the look of an adventurer. So we've much in common. This is Cloth by Noah Sturtridge. This is, um, if it says the, like, Bye, blah blah blah. That means that they're a Patreon, or I'm sorry, not Patreon. Uh, GoFundMe character. Searching for dangerous places, I. Well, you're on the right track. A long-necked critter warned me of a tribe deep down. Warrior swords, so she says, and I'm itching for some serious combat. Uh, maybe she's talking about the giraffe lady we saw at uh, Queen Station. Keep sharp, my adventurous friend. Stay alive, and let's meet again on the road ahead. Anything else? Nope. All right, cloth. I guess they call you that because you have a cloth on your head, <laughs> right? Uh, am I right? Am I right? Oh, what? Can I? I can totally do that, right? Yeah. Hmm. So we are very quickly making our way down near the bottom of all this. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, okay. Sick. A little checkpoint. Nice. Uh, okay. Let's just keep going, I guess. Da -doom, da -da -doom. Hey, pal. Ow! That wasn't very nice. Well, bye. Bye, friend. I don't really want to chase you just yet. I want to keep exploring this area first. But you keep going that way, Hornet. It's cool. We are once again coming up at about 30 minutes, so I'm going to try and wrap it up here soon. And I believe that there is a... Uh, a bench coming up fairly soon and we're also coming up on one of my absolute favorite uh, parts of the game or of the base game I should say uh, the DLC is also really good but one of these sections we're coming across is very exciting I don't think we'll get have time for it in this episode but we will definitely be like the very first thing we do in the next one God. Oh my. Bruh, what is this? Let me up. There we go. Jeez Louise. Hi, little grub. I'm coming to save you. Don't worry. Yes, yes, yes. You are safe. I don't know that I am though. Nice. Okay. Ooh, I almost passed up on this. Nice. Okay. Uh, I guess that's all it was up there. Here we go. Nice. Is one of the other checkpoints we were wanting. Um. I think we can keep going for a bit. I'm near certain that there is a checkpoint right this way. I think if we continue to follow this path downwards, we will find it very quickly. Ow. Bastards. Oh my gosh. All right, I have to heal up right now. Boom, boom, boom. 
Uh, okay, we can't go up here just yet, so we'll have to come back to that later. And, excuse me, if we look right here, we can begin to see the masks very similar to what we'd seen at the Snail Shaman's Hut. But, spoilers, I do not think that we are going to find another Snail Shaman here. No, instead we have a new type of bug. This was the uh, slender type bug that I believe um, Cornifer was referencing. A mantis warrior, member of a proud tribe, fiercely protective of its territory, launches savage attacks with bladed forelimbs. Mantis youth, member of a proud tribe, fiercely protective of the territory, launches stinging abdomen, er, I'm sorry, launches stinging attacks with its needle-sharp abdomen. There we go. Hey, 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 hey. Interesting that they explode twice. Also, if you notice, the, um, the soundtrack has changed again. It's still the, the same, like, tune of Fungal Waste, but it's significantly, um, more toned down, I guess is how you describe it. Sounds a bit more calm. Uh, let's see, what do you got here, bud? Oh, we have a lore tablet. This is important. Wanderers seeking death, welcome. May you find swift end upon our claws. So definitely not the, uh, not the nicest guys around, huh? But they are welcoming. Yeah, I actually really like this uh this version of the Fungal Way soundtrack. This sounds really good. It sounds much more refined. Which, you know, I think that's the whole idea with these uh mantis Oh my god, do you see what's going on with the camera? <laughs> As I was saying though, I think that's supposed to be the whole idea with these mantis is that they are um they're loyal or they're they're proud, I think is what they were described as in their description, right? Yeah, member of a proud tribe. Bench to our bottom right. We can go ahead and get that very quickly. Very quickly. Oh my lord, the camera really doesn't like this area. What is going on? Uh oh. Okay, there we go. Fixed. Uh, I feel like we just skipped a lot. Let's go back. As you can see, I'm kind of just allowing myself to take a bunch of damage um, solely so that I can get some of that thorny, uh, what's it called? The charm? Anger of thorns or something? Thorns of agony. There you go. Get that thorns of agony value. Okay. And, bum -ba -da -da, we now have our checkpoint that we've been looking for. Uh, so, let's see what we did in this episode. Let's go back to the map and think about all the places that we explored. We managed to find our way out of the Queen's Gardens, I'm sorry, Queen's Station area. Oh, this area, I, in the last episode, I said we didn't know the name for it, but it definitely did pop up um, as the Fog Canyon. But we still don't have a map for it yet. Um, but we made our way out of Kingdom Station, found a whole secret path all the way back up to Forgotten Crossroads, found this weird dude, uh, Leg Eater? Leg Biter? I can't remember what his name was. Um, and now, we've seen the Hornets making their way into this area, which, uh, this almost kind of looks like the guy that we had seen initially right in here. Yeah, see, it's almost the exact same face. Hmm. But we saw the Hornets going this way. And this supposedly is the area of a very fierce tribe. So, we have a lot to do. Um, but, that'll have to be for the next episode. So, I hope you all have enjoyed watching this. I have enjoyed playing this. Uh, I, I'm really enjoying the Hollow Knight playthrough. I know it, it definitely shows on the channel, right? Because I haven't been uploading Dead by Daylight in a hot minute since I got this headset. Or, since I got this microphone, I should say. And, um, Vegas Movie Studio. Um... It's just, it's a lot of fun being able to play through this and being able to talk about the game as I'm playing through it. Um, I, I, I don't know. I don't want to ramble too much about it, but I've always wanted to be able to do 
something like this. You know, the type of YouTube I've always enjoyed watching has been Let's Talk. Like, let, uh, not even just Let's Plays, but Let's Talk series, in which people kind of just express what they enjoy about the game and express the story of the game as they're going through it. And it's something I've wanted to do for a very long time. Uh, and so I'm happy I'm finally having the chance to do that with this series. But enough of that. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Also, happy 10th episode. Ba-ba-da! Bye-bye!